What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. Got a little close there. So we are here. As you can see, I've got my quarry finally moved. Uh, it's been running for a little while now. Uh, we've gotten quite a bit of stuff out of this. Let us land here. So this is what we have gotten out of this. I've taken some stuff out of it. I've been doing some resource gathering the last couple days. Uh, we have gotten, I've gotten a little bit of stuff done. The biggest thing that I've been doing, I have gotten uh, addicted to these fluid cows. And that's what I've been doing. I have been all over, uh, all over this place just looking for cows. Uh, and I have gotten quite a few of them. Matter of fact, I even got me a bag here. Now, all these golden lassos have fluid cows in them. And I'm going to try to set up a little bit more of a farm. That way, they are all going and collecting at the same time. I've gotten some uh, some pretty good stuff that, you know, that, that we need. And it'll save from some of the quarry and stuff like that. And... I have found out that with the barrels, when I get through them uh, and actually turn them into some kind of block, uh, we get about two stacks uh, or three stacks out of uh, whatever's in there. So as you can see, I have been draining our, uh, our drums out here and turning them into our blocks up here. So we've got quite a bit of resources now uh, we have found this one's probably the these two right here the two favorites that I have found so far except for one which is over there now which is Electrum we don't have to worry about making the Electrum anymore and we've got a tin cow but one of the things that I wanted and it's one of the ores that are probably the biggest pain for me to find anywhere is gold and we found a gold cow and a matter of fact I found that gold cow right over there on our Britannia place uh, where stuff is spawning over here uh, you know animals are spawning here over on the grass when I get away to a certain point they are also spawning on the Britannia area over there and it just so happened that one spawned over there so we've got that one going right now uh, I do have this one now, which is the resident ender, which will make ender pearls for us. We don't have to worry about endermen or the ender pearls now. And then the other one's just plutonium, which is going to be with some of the uh, big reactor stuff that we get into. Um, I've got this set back up here, and the only reason why I have this set up is as a sand uh, maker. We are with the big reactors and some of the other stuff that we've got going on uh, we're gonna need some glass and I realized that we didn't have any kind of real sand production going on because in the mining world there's just not a whole lot of sand so I brought these guys back out and start you know just turning everything into sand and then holding on to the sand for glass and stuff like that so that's worked out pretty well now this over here I don't remember if I've showed you all this or not I've been draining my XP uh, barrels from over there and then I had a couple of them over here uh, basically this is an experience obelisk and we can just run in here and get all the levels that we need to get uh, I've got a hundred and eight levels stored in here right now matter of fact we'll just go ahead and store what I've got in there on me so this will hold um, I forget how much it is. Oh, there it is up top. It'll hold uh, quite a bit of XP um, for us. So I'm going to just be draining all our XP into that so we don't worry about losing it. And then whenever we need to get some levels for anything, we can just walk over and get the levels that we need. Um, we've got in, I've gotten a couple other crops going on here. I've got the Eulorium Ylor growing. Uh, these here are lily pads of fertility and they act as a 
and kind of like bone meal. You place these down and they will help speed up your crop growth. Now you can uh, stack them whereas you know you put they have a seven by seven growing area and I'm going to sleep right quick while I'm telling you all about this. Uh, they have a seven by seven growing area and if you place more than one of them together stuff will grow faster which I have over here placed a few more to keep the diamonds growing pretty quick because we were running very very low on diamonds and which not only that I need diamonds to advance I'm trying to get into our the uh, project E uh, the tablet and everything like that and I need diamonds to get into that so uh, I have also finally got our second round of the Zavicio blocks done and we are growing the draconium ingots now so I don't have to worry about going and finding those so that is great um, anything else going on I don't believe so uh, this area over here is what we are going to mess with today uh, this is some of the Aura Cascade stuff that we were going to get into uh, the last time and I wasn't exactly for sure exactly what all I needed to do but I've got a little bit of it figured out and I'm not sure how far we're going to get into it today but I'm going to try to my best to explain exactly how all this works uh, so I need I think I've got everything in my ender pouch here actually so basically what we are needing were the arcane uh, I forget what they're called now uh, we are making mana spreaders we need the arcane prisms now we got to make each one of these gems and in order to do that we need uh, to get these ingots now the ingots and stuff they're not really that hard to get basically the way aura cascade works is they have different uh, kind of machines that you can do and then you have to generate their power now the power that they use is these aura crystals and then the way they work is you have to pump the power so basically you put you know these have aura stored in them and then you've got to pump the power and then it cycles around and when it cycles it makes power now these are just a burning pump so it uses anything that will burn as a uh, fuel source so it will as you can see it's now transferring the aura and basically you can only when it when it, the pump shoots it up and then it will you know, the block these the uh, little nodes have to be side by side they don't have to be next to each other uh, but it will cycle it around and when it goes down it makes the power so now we need to make some of the different uh, colored of the uh, gem or not the gems but the ingots so we can get the gems now to make the colored ones all you need is just an iron ingot you throw it down in front of it and you throw down a color well I forgot to take this off now let's try it so throw it down and when it gets to the power that it needs to do it it will turn it over so as you can see we now have a orange one so we need to do three of these let us go ahead and get three of these made and then we will move on to the next step so while well, we're doing this uh, today is July the 5th I hope everyone had a great 4th of July didn't burn anything yourselves or anything like that uh, I managed to survive unharmed uh, the 4th of July is my Christmas uh, I absolutely love the 4th of July I, we blow the family gets together we let off a ton of fireworks uh, and that's what we done last night uh, so it's I don't know it's I don't, it, when uh, me growing up we didn't 
where I grew up, fireworks were legal. Anything that went in the air, you weren't allowed to have. So uh, I, we more than make up for it now. So we let off fireworks for a couple of hours last night, and it's it's absolute blast. Uh, so I hope you all had a great 4th of July. So there is our third one there. So now we need to go over here. And get us a diamond for our next bit of of this. So basically, from that point, in order to get our gem, we need to use. I'm trying to figure out why that's got power right there. It should. All right. So we need to place these down. I forget how to place. Them. Okay. There we go. Yeah place those there let us place our diamond down then now we've got to do the same thing we done with that as far as transferring the power let's get some coal in here now this just takes a little bit longer to do than what the other one did this will give us our orange gem when it is finished so now we have to do this though for every single one of the different flavor or different flavors the different colors why does it say I have no valid recipe oh it changed for some reason let's put this back in here and that back in there and that in there and that in there So this will probably take just a minute. So while this is going on, I, or when it gets ready to be done, I will bring you guys back. All right, we're back. Uh, as you can see, it just turned us into the gym. So that gives us our orange gym. Now I have started making some of these other colors. Um, this is going to take a little bit of time to sit here and do so basically I'm going to sit here and get some crafting done together I wanted to show you all at least how to do uh, to do this as we go along here now there are different levels of pumps that you can use some of them are better than what I what I'm using here uh, but this is the simplest way, or the simplest pumps to use. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I don't know, at least for now, we're not going to be getting too far involved into this mod. Uh, but, I mean, you never know. I didn't know I was going to have to get into it this far anyway. So, But I'm going to sit here and craft up all these colors, get all of our gems going, and I will bring you guys back when we are ready to move on. Alright, we are back. This last one is just fixing to finish up. There we go. So we now have all eight of these that we need. Now, to make our gem, we need a piece of brass, which I should have some in here. I do. So, let us make this right here. Oh, we got our arcane prism. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I can take my book out here. This is the uh, Aura Encyclopedia. And yes, we completed a quest and we got a second one of those. So that is good. It'll give us two mana spreaders to get started generating some mana and getting this going. So let us go ahead and make up our two mana spreaders and you know I never brought a crafting table over here so we need to do that one of these days this is not at all what I had intended on doing today uh, I had planned on going ahead and finishing up uh, our twilight forest but I wanted 
I, I figured that out in between the time that I recorded the last episode and the time that I'm recording this episode. So um, it might be uh, an episode or two before we get back to the Twilight Force, but we're not going to completely abandon it. We still have to finish that quest. And then I'm on vacation all week this week, so I have plenty of time to put together an episode just for that. So, but now we need our quest book here, and we should have, we've got two quests with unclaimed rewards. I may have got the mana pool one. So we got this one here, that's going to give us the endo flame. Uh, we'll go with the middle reward bag. And we'll go ahead and do this one, which is going to give us a chance cube, some more black lotus, and we'll go with that reward bag. And our next bit is for the runic altar, which I'm not sure how to make this. Uh, it's basic. Uh, I figured there'd be something special in this pack just for that. So before we move on, let's go ahead and check our rewards we got a speed belt and we got a water walking belt which the water walking belt I don't really need but let us put our speed belt on oh yeah definitely move around a lot quicker now and I like that all right that's gonna that's gonna make going out and looking for more cows a lot easier but since we can fly we don't need to walk on water so all right our other reward bag here is a greater reward bag and we got the erothium dust and the faith plate which we have got those before let us put these in here here we go so now let us see wait let's get rid of our chance cubes there now let us see where we are at. So we need eight mana pearls, four mana diamonds, and I think I've got most of that. Right in here's two. Ha. And we need one to make the pool with. And I'm gonna guess, no, I hadn't got any mana diamonds out of any of that stuff, so. That's all right, though, because we can put, let's see here, wait, what was it we needed? We need four of those. Okay, so, I've got plenty of these Black Lotus. It won't take us long to, see, look, we move away from here and stuff spawns, which is nice because I've got an unlimited supply of food around here now. So we are going to go ahead and use our pure daisies, which wherever I put, not the pure daisies, but the uh, the sun blooms, wherever I put them. Oh wait, I better put them in this chest. Yep, right there they are. So we're just going to go ahead and use these up for now because they're not going to do us a whole lot of good once we get to... Uh, once they, I mean, you put them down and they disappear after a certain point. So, uh, we need to make a wand of the forest too. So let me get these a generating power, or not power, but mana. Put one there, one there, one there, and one there. All right, so let us go over here. Let us make our wand of the forest. And I need these two here. And there is that. All right, so this should all, yeah, these are connected. Now, one thing I have learned, if you place your mana spreader down first and then place the flowers, the flowers will automatically connect to any of the mana spreaders uh, that are around it 
that it can see. Uh, so then, you know, you don't have to place your flowers down, then place your mana spreader down. Then you got to connect all of them to the mana spreader and then connect the mana spreader to the pool. So now this will give us a bit of mana in there. Let's see if it's enough to... Alright, yep, yeah, it was enough to do that. Let us go over here and sleep right quick. And we need to just make us a crafting table here right quick. I'm getting tired of trying to find one. I don't need that. There's just a crafting table. And we will place it down. Well, wait, before we do that, let us do this. I like the crafting stations a lot better than I do just regular crafting tables just for the simple fact that you can place them down and if there's anything left in them you can walk off and leave them and not have to worry about your stuff falling out of it. Alright, so our runic altar is that and that. Alright, so we're going to place this right here and we need our quest book so that's got all that done it's going to give us a chance cube let's go with our middle reward bag it is just a basic reward and we got more dirt and we don't need dirt anymore and it didn't even go over the edge so let us do that all right so that's going to lead us to the path of doing all of the ruins. Now the hydrangeas, I'm not sure. Yeah, blue, cyan, and mana powder, which my petals have. I'm my, I've run out of flowers just about basically. Um, I have gone with these uh, lily pads of fertility that I've made. They use. Uh, the bone meal from magical crops and they also use the floral powder from Botania and so I have used up all of the petals and flowers and stuff that I had in order to do this so I've got to get into the mining world and collect some more flowers so I will work on that off camera uh, but I think we are going to go ahead and call it there. Um, we'll work on these uh, next episode, or maybe not next episode, sometime in the next couple episodes. Uh, I'm going to get us our, once these die out, I'm going to use our night blooms, our nightshades, let those die out, and then we will set up a uh, farm using the endo flames uh, to work on. I don't want to say seriously producing mana because we're not at the point where we need a whole lot of it yet, but um, that is where we're going to get to. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. We've got uh, the one thing done that I wanted to do. I never thought, I, you know, I've made a hundred mana spreaders before, and I never thought I'd I would feel such accomplishment at making a another one. Uh, that's a really this this is a pain to do it's not a bad mod but it's to, to all of that to do the one mana spread or I guess the two mana spreaders this time but what was in the normal mod pack it's a piece of gold not the arcane prism but that's part of what you get for playing you know certain mod packs and stuff like that so we will have to make each one of the colored gems again to um, put them in our project e tablet and once we do that we'll never have to worry about making them again we'll just be able to pull them out of it um, my pig iron is not done yet uh, I'm going ahead and I, well I think I already said that but we're going ahead and getting rid of all of our stuff putting it into uh, ingot form and block form so we can start cleaning some of this up uh, these are almost done and we'll be able to move on to our next set of cows um, I'm probably going to move these guys over and set up several different pins here 
you can actually make a uh, wrench that goes with uh, the mine factory reloaded stuff. It'll show you the uh, working area for it of the machine. So I'll probably set up machines at every single, uh, you know, see what area this one works in, uh, fence it off, put some cows in there, and then just kind of go on down through and then just have one great big production line of uh, the main the main fluids that we want to get out of them. Now there's still a few fluids that I haven't found yet. Uh, the main one being that I'd like to find is iron, and iron seems to be in short supply around here. Uh, I do have some iron seeds started, but I just started them. Um, and then the iron that it's getting in the mining world is not very much. Uh, I don't know why that is. I've gotten three times the copper that I do iron stuff like that. But I have found out that I was right about you know the ores being uh, spawning in different in the mining world in here. Uh, I did. I have found several pockets of surface diamonds in caves flying around so I've if you fly around in here keep your eye on the ground because there's diamonds close uh, so but I think with that we've accomplished not what I wanted to accomplish but accomplished what I needed to accomplish so that is awesome so like comment subscribe and share and I will see you guys the next episode bye